want to break free Kiki ball change and welcome to another episode of Kiki's Kitchen. I'm Kiki. The theme is pink. It's Valentine's Day. Love is in the air. Whoopsie fucking do. I don't see the point because I don't have a significant other. Regardless, I wanted to do a cute little pink themed shit little thing. All right. I'm not celebrating Valentine's Day. I'm celebrating myself because listen, I look pretty stunning, so that's worth celebrating. We're making a pink Valentine's Day themed cheesecake. So let's get started. To begin, I preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm making an Oreo crust, uh. but they're not regular Oreos. They're Chromatica Oreos. All right, the pink ones, see? They're pink, well, you know, salmon-y. They're not like this, or th they're like, I don't really know how to explain it. Anyway, so I have these little Oreos in a food processor. And I'm gonna, where's my top? Man, I wish I had a top. So we're gonna, um, you know, how the hell? Pulse it until they're all, you know, combined. So now that they're all kind of speckly, you know, we're gonna add some melted butter. We're gonna pulse as we go. Oh. Did it break? Did I break it? What the hell? All of our butter is combined, looks like this. In a spring form pan, it's a smaller one, okay? The reason why is because the recipe said so. So do with that what you will. We're just gonna give this a little spritz. Just so nothing sticks. Okay, that's empty. Uh. Ah! <laughs> Just ignore that. By the way, they're pink only. I scraped off as much of the green as I could because I, I realized if you mix them all together, it's not gonna look pink. And pink is, you know, the flavor of the day. We're gonna pulse it. What the hell? So this is smoking now for some reason. So I'm gonna take our crust out because it's been like 10 minutes. There's a fly in here. Let me get my little handy dandy thingy. So it kind of dropped a little bit, but that fly is huge. Oh my God. I'm gonna let that crust sit for a little bit. I have my little stand mixer, and we're gonna put in 24 ounces of cream cheese. Why is this so smoky? I hope that's okay. Anyway. Oh my god. I gotta open a window. Uh oh. Uh. Anyway, I'm gonna put this cream cheese in here. Room temp, room temp. To that cream cheese, we're gonna add a cup of and a half teaspoon of salt. Now, cream that shit all together. Now we're gonna add in uh, three tablespoons of flour. I took it off the mixer because it, it just wasn't working. You know, it just, it, I couldn't do it. And mix. Take your little spatula and scrape down all the sides because, you know, you want all your filling to be homogenous. So now we're gonna add um, a half tablespoon of vanilla. Half, oh, this one, okay. And a half cup of sour cream. Now we're gonna add some eggs, one at a time, crack it, mix it, crack it, mix it, crack it, mix it. Pop it. And then you're gonna add a yolk. So you're gonna crack it, separate it, mix it, you know? Oh, you thought we were done? Oh no, honey. We're gonna add some food coloring to make this cheesecake pink. I added in like five drops. Okay, so now we're gonna fold in these little cookies. So our cheesecake looks like this. Can you see it? So we're gonna add our, our little cheesecake to our little uh, springform pan. Wow, gorgeous. 
I put it on a little pan just in case, you know, anything escapes while it's cooking. And we're gonna put this in the oven for uh, 10 minutes at 350 and then we're gonna lower the temperature to 300 degrees and cook it for like 40 to 50 minutes. Let's hope this oven doesn't start smoking again. I'm kind of worried. Anyway, the cheesecake has been in the oven for about an hour. So I'm just gonna turn the little oven off and let it sit for like another 30 minutes just so it can continue baking. Don't open the door. Don't open the door. Don't open the door. Don't open it. For some reason, cracks in a cheesecake are like really important, you know. All right, it's ready. We're gonna take it out. It's been way too long that I've been in drag, but here we go. And then we gotta still let it cool. Aye, aye. All right, anyway, let's take it out. Let's take it out. Okay. Wow. <gasps> what was that? Ew, what is that? There's like some goo. Is that butter? Here's our little cheesecake. Isn't it cute? Oh my God. Is that child okay? Can y'all hear that? Not this. I'm gonna put it on this little cooling rack. The recipe says you need to cool this cheesecake for uh, overnight. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna let it cool for like a couple hours. Maybe I'll make a TikTok, who the fuck knows? And then we're gonna decorate it, all right? So much more to come, much more longer to stay in drag. I have a cup of heavy whipping cream in this bowl and then I'm gonna add a fourth of a cup of powdered sugar and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then just for fun, let's make it pink too. Okay, and now we whisk. We're gonna take this whipped cream, this little pinky, and we're gonna put it on our cheesecake. But wait, there's more. So we're gonna put a cup of white chocolate, heat that up in the microwave for like 20 seconds on half power. And we got some hot cream. And we're gonna pour it over. Add a little vanilla, just for fun. Then we're gonna whisk. And this is gonna be a white chocolate ganache. You know, it looks like a ganache, I guess. So we're gonna get our little cheesecake out of the fridge, you know. It still has this little crack on it, but kind of looks like a little face. Pour this ganache on top of our cheesecake. Yeah, just like that, baby. Kind of jiggle it a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. So once you have your little ganache on top, we're gonna put, we're gonna, we're gonna put whipped cream in the little bag, and then we're gonna pipe it, you know? I'm gonna cut a little corner. I'm just gonna use a knife, because I like to live on the edge, and just pipe it on top of your cheesecake. Well, I f***ed up. I own it, I'm gonna own it. I like to own my mistakes. You know what, it's kind of pretty. I'll accept it, I'll allow it. The piece de resistance. I'm gonna take these little cookies and I'm just gonna put them, you know, around. Oh, gorgeous. The craftsmanship, the quality. And last but not least, it's time to unpop it out of the little thing. Okay. It's so far. And there you have it! My delicious pink Valentine's Day cheesecake. It looks a little worse for wear, but that's my own doing because of the fucking whipped cream fiasco. But it still looks cute. It's still pink. It looks like it's gonna, you know, give me diabetes. And that is honestly, isn't that the meaning of Valentine's Day? I'm very excited. So let's take a bite. I need a knife. This will do. Honestly? <laughs> Bottoms up. Oh, this is dangerous. It is the perfect little dessert to eat completely by yourself on Valentine's Day. It's so good. It's light and creamy. That whipped cream, the ganache, baby. All right. Anyway, thank you for joining me for the Valentine's Day edition of Kiki's Kitchen. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can get your exclusive Kiki's Kitchen merch at www.kikiballchange.com slash merch. 
So you can get t-shirts, mugs, sweaters, tank tops. I wish I had the Tamisha Mon sneaks, honestly. Listen, I need money. We're in a pandemic. I'm unemployed. Buy merch. All right, that's all I'm saying. Hope you and your loved ones have a wonderful Valentine's Day. And if you're all alone like me, just make some cheesecake, watch some movies, and enjoy your night. Right? I'll see you next time. Bye! <coughs>